Hi everyone, Amite here. Before we kick off into Season 4 and start the episode, I want to address the elephant in the room, or so I perceive it to be. Uh, it's about the Bean Brigade NX. Uh, ever since I got accepted into the Bean Brigade, I couldn't have been feeling anything but excited. But at the same time, I knew that because I was part of the Bean Brigade, the NX that I get from them is uh, going to play into a factor for my progression and funding. And I've basically had sort of like an imposter syndrome sort of thing when it came to thinking about what I can and cannot do with the NX. But after some careful thinking and a lot of discussion between friends and fans and everyone. And I know some people may not be happy with this decision because, oh, uh, this is um, special treatment or something like that. Uh, and I'll, I'll get to those uh, arguments later, but the decision that I have made is that I am going to keep the NX for myself and use it to fund my hero. Uh, disclaimer though, I will st be still using some of the NX for the occasional fun thing and cosmetic thing, so it's not like um, this is all going straight into my hero. But basically, the point is, um, I, it's my NX and I'm gonna do whatever I want with it. The main argument I see from this is that, uh, oh, this NX plays into uh, funding and it shouldn't be accounted for because uh, you're a free-to-play player and therefore, uh, as a free-to-play player, you're not supposed to be able to have access to such blah 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 blah. A after that, I basically filtered out and tuned out that nonsense because when you think about it this way, being free to play simply just means that I don't spend any of my own money into the game. And for the game company to acknowledge me as a content creator and to reward me with NX on top of it, isn't that basically in the same vein as grinding for the stuff? Certainly I am an exception to this, but at the same time, um, I don't really see any other free-to-play players that are streaming or making YouTube videos uh, that are popular enough to get into Bean Brigade. I sincerely hope that there will be someone in GMS that will start recording their own adventure and make their own videos and record and log all of their uh, progressions and stuff because I know how fun it is to watch someone uh, work for stuff and then work towards their goals and achieve them and stuff like that. And as much as people would love to see this over and over and over again with me, I think it's sort of getting old for me now. Look, I get it. If you want to get to a certain goal in this game, you have to put in the work for it, you have to grind for it, and you have to suffer and go through trials and tribulations to get what you want. And just because I've done it for five years now doesn't mean that I'm exempt from this rule. I'm not entitled to expect a veteran's discount or any of that sort, but the thing is with it is that Road to Max Damage has come a long way, and the things that I've earned from doing the series I think is extremely awesome and I think the support from fans, friends, and Nexon themselves is everything I could have asked for and more because I never expected to get stuff from people just because they enjoyed watching my videos. And this is partly the reason why I ended Season 3 and want to start Season 4 like this. Throughout these five years, I've sacrificed a lot of things for Road to Max Damage and for Maple Story. I sacrificed a lot of sleep. I sacrificed uh, my mental fortitude. <laughs> I sacrificed some of my marks in university, but more importantly, I sacrificed a lot of connections and stuff that I could have made while I was in university. For those that still don't know, uh, I have been and still am pursuing a career in music. I am a musician, a pianist, a music producer, I DJ, so on and so forth. I'm a composer, I study a lot of video game music. And for something like music, that takes a lot of grinding in itself. So part of the discipline I have as a musician is 
the reason why I've been able to be persistent and persevere through road to max damage. But now I think at this point in my life that I need to dial down the fun and games in just video gaming itself and actually get into the industry. Seriously, when you grow up as a classical musician, you know the definition of grind. So because of Road to Max Damage, I've put off a lot of music-related stuff, and I think now is the point in my life where I want to make music and my career the center focus. The thing is, I still want to make Maple Story videos. I still want to make videos in general because they are fun to share with you guys. And ultimately, I still want Road to Max Damage to be my hobby, not my job. And I think if I could still make Road to Max Damage my hobby and still be able to entertain you guys and also get a little bit of support from uh, Nexon themselves, the game company that you know, owns the game. I just think, why can't we all be happy about it? I would have less stress on needing to make Mesos constantly every day. You guys will still get to see Road to Max Damage and see me continue to upgrade my hero and go through difficult content in the game eventually. I still have aspirations and long-term goals to eventually beat the Black Mage and get a Genesis weapon and stuff, but I know the time it takes to do that and to upgrade my character to be able to get to that level is going to be just time that I can't afford. And in the end, I'll still have never spent a single dime funding this character. So why have I been so stressed out with this decision and stuff? Maybe it's just because... I'm afraid of letting you guys down. I'm afraid of the imposter syndrome that comes with this decision and the feeling that it delegitimizes uh, my progression and stuff. And a lot of things people have said about me throughout the years of Road to Max Damage. But you know what I say to that? Fuck it. I worked hard to get where I am in Maple Story, and I worked hard to get where I am with Road to Max Damage. So... I think, uh, with all that being said, this is a decision that I will not regret, and I will continue to keep making videos and streaming to try and entertain you guys. So with that being said, I hope you respect the decision that I've made, and I hope that you guys will still keep watching my videos and still be entertained by them. I just want to be clear that things are at a completely different dynamic now. But a lot of things that make Road to Max Damage, the series it is, will still be there, more or less. Welcome to Season 4. Hello everybody and welcome back. It's me, Yamite. I do this stupid thing called Road to Max Damage. How are you guys doing? Uh, this is me, maybe about two hours after the end of uh, the last episode. Uh, I'm filming this pr episode probably very sparsely, or very disjointed and separated. But I think this would make a very good first episode of Season 4 to kind of show you guys the pacing that I might be doing. Uh, we're gonna open up with looking at my arcane tier. So I thought about it. It makes sense though. My goal is to try to get my arcane to equipped onto me first and then worry about and everything else afterwards because I would get a pretty good boost from the set bonuses and that would boost up my damage significantly. In order to get them equipped onto me though, I need to get three line main pot on these so I don't have any incentive to transfer it over to my Kana or to other characters or to my friends if they have free cubes. Please thank you very much. I, this is a cry for help. The gloves will be an exception. I'll consider two line crit damage as complete main pot, okay? I'm definitely not keeping this pot. Two line crit damage is just better for me. While I get the shoulder to 10 star though, so let me explain the thought process here, um, or my plans for uh, probably I would say the upcoming two months or so. I'm hoping that this will get released around uh, the anniversary of Road to Max Damage, just to be very symbolic and super meaningful and whatever. So I'm thinking of this. 
Uh, gonna continue doing hard bosses, of course, and any big drops that I get will probably get converted to NX. And then I'm gonna try and use the NX to get my main potentials done. Hopefully, maybe around double miracle time in Christmas will be when that will happen. That's what I'm thinking anyway, so with the NX that I get from sponsorships and the NX that I would get from hard boss drops, and I would probably also, in this case, start selling meso in the meso market. I hope will, I hope that I will get a good amount to at least get one item done. My expectations for cubing are super, super, super low because I have historically never really gotten anything that has been remotely. Um, just super super lucky with cubes. I am so untrustworthy of my cubing luck that the only cubes that I ever self cubed myself were my emblem and my pants and kind of my belt and kind of my badge. Both of these I did roll them myself but they were cubes that were given to me from well one was the, the badge was from Paul and the belt was from Matt. Oh, and I suppose you can count my sword too, but uh, 50 boss. Uh. <laughs> I would also say my outlaw heart, but I don't count 24% as three line. So basically all the other three line items that I had, I basically bought them because I am just that untrustworthy of uh, how cubing luck goes with me. That being said though, I really don't think I have anywhere else to turn to other than to start doing my own uh, cubing because I really don't think I can get 3-line main pot in a legitimate way other than doing it myself now. <laughs> so that is the most classic game plan that I am best known for. Save up a whole bunch of NX and maple points for months on end and then use it all at once during a cube sale or double miracle time. So let's get compiling and saving and hoarding and every other synonym that I can't think of on the top of my head. I must make a disclaimer, this is a new season of Road to Max Damage and it's going to be very different from the others. I am very much going to focus on making sure that each episode has at least some sort of like central theme or progress into it. I don't really want 30 minutes of myself muckering around if I can help it. There's tons of little things that I can get done, but I don't want to burn myself out doing all of those things all at once just so that I can pump out a vit episode, uh, nor do I want to make that one little thing stretch out to 30 minutes, and I think that would be very boring. So uh, starting on this season, the episodes are going to be a lot more sparse but I'm still gonna try and make an effort to at least have some creative stuff to do uh, so that I can release every once in a while but my main point is that I don't want you to expect that there is a regular schedule episode like in season one two or three I hope you guys are okay with it honestly uh, it it might change because you know uh, as time goes along and there's new patches and stuff i'm sure there will be stuff for me to do and make episodes of but i just want to give you a forewarning in case uh there's some content drought that this is the reason why is because i'm trying to make the episodes interesting and with this nx hmm i really don't really want to do this but it's probably a good thing to do. I'm going to use Violet Cubes. Now, you have to know something about Violet Cubes. There's a thing I really don't like about them is that if you somehow land three line um, of your stat, but none of them are prime lines, then you use it and it makes it just makes your item look really weird and I don't like that. But in the end, I don't know. It's... Really weird. Violets are a weird thing for me. I, I don't really have much to say, but uh, the fact that I can do fine with stuff like this now at this stage of the game makes me feel really good. So I say, you know what, just for the sake of doing this, I will do it so to proving that uh, my luck is pretty crappy. Oh boy, that is... 
Very expensive. I've been thinking about it. My heart has been 24% for the longest time, and I've always been like, okay, I'll recube it, I'll recube it, I'll recube it eventually. And my plan was to recube it, you know, after I get all my arcanes equipped and all that stuff. And I know that's going to take a while if I want to three line everything and I still want to keep them tradable. But there's a thing with violets that makes them beautiful is that they're sort of like a pseudo black cube in a sense that because you're able to pick three stats out of six, you're basically allowing a higher chance of keeping the stat because hearts have are like accessories in potential lines where you don't have as much crappy lines as a piece of armor like a cape or a shoe so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to re-roll this heart and i'm going to try to get 27 percent strength or higher just to get a sense of closure for the main pot so that i know that this is the heart for me to keep because if i roll like three line B pot of something else or a really godly three line main pot, I do intend to trade it. I, I would prefer not to, but if that comes around to be the case, then well, that has to happen, I feel, which is a whole new scary thing for me. So uh, like I said, I would prefer very much not for it to happen. But from how violets work and the low amount of junk lines a heart will get from cubing, I'm pretty sure that I could get something out of violets and then whatever i have left over i think i'm gonna throw on the arcane so that seems to be for me at least of uh, in my vision and idea of how this is going to go down is probably going to be the best move for me so i hope i don't regret this and lose 24 percent uh strength but here goes nothing so here we go first thing we have a bunch of junk Okay, so let's re-roll it. We have uh, 12, 9, and 6, so nothing too amazing. We got 15. Uh, wait, hold on. We have 966. This is a 24 tex or 21% strength. So here, let me sh show you. I'm going to accept this. I'm going to cancel it. Doesn't this just look horrendous? I I despise items that look like this. It doesn't look right. So, uh, nothing too good. 21% int. Uh, I don't know what my limit is on the heart. If I get... Oh, there we go. It's done. Just like that. That's how we do it. Easy. So that's an upgrade. It's done. My heart is settled. I'm not going to try to get anything better. I do know that I said 30% uh, on accessories are buffed, but when it comes to accessories that I craft uh, cube myself, this is it. So, that's it. Would have been nice if I had 1299, but it's a keeper for now. All right, so this is it. <laughs> 25 violet cubes for a cape and a shoe. Can I even get one of them done. This is nerve-wracking. Here we go. First roll. Nothing at all. Next roll. Oh my god, what is this? 12, 12. Hey guys, I landed triple prime! <laughs> Beautiful! Like, just look at this for a second. It just looks so weird. <laughs> uh, okay, back to this though. Uh, 20 decks, not that great. Come on, three line strength, please. Oh, very, very close. That would have been really badass if I landed it. That sucks. All right, let's keep going. 13, 10, 10. Perfect, so let's flash this for a second. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, I'll put this in like a collage or something. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's five cubes down already. Can we see a strength, please? Nothing. Reroll. Nothing. Oh! 
Ah, are you kidding me? Close, 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 close. Uh, oh my goodness, that's that's ugly. Yeah, once again, I'll, I'll, let me just sh use this for a second. Does that just looks so wrong? And <laughs> yay again, Paul. Where are you? Let me cube your arcanes. Oh man. That's, uh, pretty tragic. But, I d never have, uh, faith in cubing stuff like this. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Come on. Oh! <sighs> so close. So close. Thir 13, 13, 10. Nope. Junky. We have 10 cubes left. I want to change it up and throw some onto my shoe. Maybe I'll get some better luck here. I'll th I'll do five cubes on the shoe first. So this is one. Um, this is two. I'm not keeping that, by the way. Uh, oh, it happened. It actually freaking happened. So, 27 stat. No. No, not for an arcane, not for a tier 4 potential item. That's uh, disgusting. If anything, I'll maybe black cube it, but now for sure I'm going to just... Yes, 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 yes! Fuck yes! Yes! Holy shit, yes! <laughs> it's done! My cave's done! Fuck yes! Where's my smegas? I know I had some from uh, the other day. Right here. No, don't use the cubes just yet. Oh my god! Yes, yes, yes! This is done! This is officially done! <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, so I was thinking about this uh, the other day, and just actually just before I started this, what if I use violets for uh, priming? And I, while it seems like it's a good idea, no, not priming. Sorry for double crit line. I don't know how I feel about that because. It, would it happen? Would it not? I, I don't know. All right, so after a little bit of discussion, um... <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna do my shoes. I, I can't... It, it's not within my integrity of seeing items that this is okay. I, if this was 13, 10, and 7, I would honestly be okay with it, but... Having 27% on a tier 4 potential item is the same as having a 24% po uh, potential on a tier 3 item. And 24% or 27% like that, you can technically get it in two lines. So, unfortunately, I'm going to re-roll it. Uh, so, 6 cubes left, now 5. Will I get it? Who knows? Ooh... I got that dex. Wow. This is actually kind of fun. That's not good. <laughs> uh Oh my god, no. Oh no. Are you kidding me? I was so close. No. Oh man. That would have been so cool to have an item that was double prime line. I never had an item like that before. Ah, oh, if only, if only, if only. Two line strength again. I think I have like two cubes left or something. And this should be my last one. Oof. Gonna end it with that much. Wow, I've actually landed a lot of... Uh, Three line int. What the hell? But oh my god, this is done! <laughs>
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm probably gonna see if anyone has any leftover violets, and I'll probably buy service from it, because this is actually not a bad way to three lines things, if I do say so myself. Not sure if I've been super, super lucky, or if it's standard lucky, or like kind of uh, uh, subpar or whatever. I, don't, I, I have like next to zero experience with violet cubes, so that's why. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely like to try and get a bit more because it's actually addicting. But we can equip this finally. Oh my goodness. I am so ready to see my stat window jump. So let's compare items. I know I'm s sort of prolonging this, but this is so worth it. Uh, 32 and 5 um, flame. So let's see here. This in total is a 31% uh cape and then this is a 33 plus 12 so this is a 45 percent cape so we're jumping up quite a bit all right are we ready to see the gain oh boy <laughs> it's time oh, oh my goodness that is ridiculous. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome! Okay, well, now I'm out of NX prepaid again, and I don't have any maple points, so it's time to get rid of all my mess, I suppose. That cape is item smega worthy, for sure. And I'm gonna use some maple points to... Uh, wait, what? You can only choose... Oh, there it is. Oh, I can't do that. Hmm. Uh, what am I going to primarily be getting? That's the question. Probably maple points? If I, I don't know. Hmm. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm going to do maple points. Echelon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I am overjoyed right now. It's done. I'm one item completely done. <laughs> Damn it. I told you we should have traded. The month just reset and I'm still silver, but only for the rest of this month. Then I'm back to bronze afterwards. It was nice, but all the good things have to end, especially when you're <laughs> free to play. <laughs> could you imagine if I could uphold Silver MVP. Unless I got like super, super, super lucky with all my boss drops consistently. Okay, so that's cashed in. I know maybe a couple of people may be asking why don't I violet my shield. The thing is, 30 violets doesn't seem like a true guarantee on getting something that's 3 line here. So I decided to forego the shield and try for the other equips. In hindsight, would it have been a good idea? Probably, uh, but it all comes down to RNG and I didn't believe in the RNG for it. But I got this though. Uh, hey, actually, you know what? Since it is the month reset, I might as well just grab everything that I need since I already have the reward points for it. This is a good and a bad feeling, to be honest. On one hand, it's like, yes, I already have enough to get everything. On the other hand, it's like, no, I'm going to be out of free stuff at the beginning of the month and I have to wait another month again if I don't get anything good. I would be dead surprised if I could finish two items in a single day. That is unheard of for me. Uh, we'll start with the red cubes. We'll do the shoes first. I really doubt I'm gonna get three line strength just like that. They would not give it to me that easily. They'll give me one line strength though, so that's cool. Uh, black cubes, you know the drill. Gotta get that two line boss, one line attack. Well, I finally get to see it. 
It's time to fight. I would have kept it if it was two line attack. That was a troll right there. 30. Ugh. That's so insulting. Last one. <laughs> Paul! In preparation for Winter's Double Miracle time, I think I'm going to start selling mesos. I don't know, though. I really would just like to save up for specifically Star Forcing, especially now that I have the Kate. It's... It's, it's a hard balance to find. I, I really can't seem to figure it out how to do it. It's all... I don't want to half-ass a bunch of different things. I kind of want to full-ass one thing so that it can be completely done. And the only thing left for the cape is 22 starring. But also, at the same time, I'd like to do my sword too. Oh, this is so hard to decide. You know what? I will sell enough maple points to do, say... Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, thank you. Let's do another bill, then. Okay, let's do a... Let's do another bill again. Okay. So that's... It. That's that for now. We jumped up to 11k. I'm gonna go and get 50k maple points for one black cube pack. For either my shield or my gloves. Doesn't matter. That's gonna be my goal. Oh, that was quick. Alrighty then. Uh, is it two two five? I just sold stuff for two twenty. No. There. Good. Already a good percentage of the way there. And another. And we do one more bill. So I basically dropped five bill just now. Already. 17k. You know, this might actually go really, really quickly at this rate. Four cubes. <laughs> Alright, my friend has some leftover violets from his cubing session. Here you go. Alright. Uh, so... How many cubes is it? One, exactly? No, he I have four. four. Oh, shit. That's you can cool. screen record him at... if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying it at, what? 600 mil a cube. Come on, give me that three line strength. Let's go. All right. First cube, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. <laughs> All right. All right. I, come on. Nothing. Nope. Not That's one fine. line. <laughs> That's fine. Last cube is the charm, right? All right. Last one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a single line of string. <laughs> Collect the mess on my other account. Okay, sure. <laughs> At least you tried. Oh, should, uh, should I buy your yeah. Through the auction house. Yeah, sure. It ends in eight nine one. It's just up now. Oh uh, yeah, I see it. There you go. Nice. Thanks. Thank, thank you. You know that moment when you wake up and you realize you fucked up something. That was uh, me just now. 600 mil a cube? No wonder it sounded so cheap. I did the math backwards. It's a 1.5 bill a freaking cube. Oh my god, that's gonna be so expensive. I don't even want to know what my budget is gonna be in that case for specifically Violet Cube service. That's That just adds up so quickly. Just one cube after another. The question is though, can I get it in less than if I would get it in violets with regular cubes during a cube sale myself. Because the other thing is, from hard boss party drops, sometimes it goes straight to NX, so I don't even have to worry about the Nessos part. And I'm also storing up maple points now. Oh my god. You know what? All I have to do is just get lucky. That's all I need to do. Does someone- this person who's cubing my thing just needs to be lucky. Okay, so that's... Level 2. Yep. Okay, perfect. Oh, you know what I also forgot? Uh, I forgot to grab the Guardian Scrolls. We can have a shot at my belt here. Let's get my... 
Scrolls out of storage. Let's see here. So, Guardian applied. This is a uh, no boom, yes? Alright, let's see. Nope. And. Wait, what? Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Two more stars! Let's go! No freaking way! What the hell? I, I found more people to buy service. Damn it, Alex. All right, in the meantime, I have a second friend that has spare violets. Uh, sure. 30% or higher, please. I'm watching someone else's screen. Fuck off. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Pick the prime lines first, still. Okay, that's two. Jesus Christ. Last one, three down strength. Yikes. Okay. That's fine. Oh, well, thanks anyways. So that's uh, 4.5 bill, just like that. Let's just... Wash this taint away, please. Ugh. So we got another. Well, this guy bought a whole pack to do service for me. This is nuts. So we're gonna be watching a screen share here. It's this is 1.5 bill a cube. The whole pack's 45 bill. So hopefully, it won't take too much. Okay, first cube. Pick the first three lines because that's junky. There we go. Okay, second cube, all junky. Uh, just pick whatever you want. Oh, uh, that's three bill already, Jesus Christ. Okay, roll again. That's 25% int or whatever. Junky. Keep going. Junky. Keep going. Yeah. Junk. Pick whatever. Uh. 10, 7. Nope. Two liner. To respond to a uh, chat for a second. Okay, you can, uh. uh yeah, just three whatever is fine. We're looking for three line strength. This is a 45 bill price if I don't get anything. Yo, pick the double haste, let's go. <laughs> oh, you've gotta be kidding me. 10 double haste again, let's go. I wanna see that uh, 13, 10, 10. Ratios, uh, you need to use uh, WSC uh, optimizers. You can... I, can't, I can't answer that for you. It's a balance of all of them. Yeah, keep going, keep going. I will settle for 30, but I, it better be a 13, uh, 13, 10, and 7. Basically, I want to see a prime line. It, if it's a bunch of weak lines, then I'll be really angry. Oh, there's a 10. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. 45 bill, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's going for the fancy stuff. Decent combat orders, junky. Come on, let's see some strength. Nope. It's a good week or two. It used to be worse. Let's go. Oh no, there's the... There's the three line luck. Yikes. Okay, keep going. Three line strength. Look at all those junk lines on the freaking uh, potential pool. That's so nasty. Keep going. Oh. 10, 7, 10. Oh, that's ugly. Not even a prime line. Keep going. Oh, my. Oh, God. Nine cubes left. Jesus. Let's 
strength. Oh god, 30% MP, let's go. Oh! Ah. Yeah, keep going. If you do roll the three line strength by the way, guard, make sure to pick the prime lines first. Oh, there's a two line strength. Okay. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. 30%. Stop, stop right there, stop, 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 stop. Let's go. What the freaking crap, man. 10, 10, 10. Oh, that... I hate that. I hate how that looks so much. What am I gonna do with that, though? It's like, it's... Oh, it just looks so wrong, but I can't complain. The only way I would re-roll this is if I just kept black cubing this. This is, this is just gonna stay with me for the rest of eternity. Four left, so that's uh, 26, right? 1.5 times 26, 39 bill. Do you have, uh, Gar, do you have anyone to sell the rest to? 27 would tilt me harder, that is true. You don't have anyone to sell it to? Uh, okay, I guess I'll, uh, buy the rest from you then, so you don't have to stress out about it. Uh, we'll do the shoulder. Bonus round. You've been such a long... Let's go. <laughs> what did you imagine? First try get the... Oh, man. I guess I'm equipping my freaking shoes then. Oh, I see. Three line in. Ugh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, two line strength right there. Come on. Two more left. Junky. Junky, junk, junk. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize it was a three line. Oh, that was it? Ah, uh, okay. Want me to black cube it with RP? Nah, it's okay. I'll buy that later. Congrats on Shu. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna pay 15 bill and then I'll give you the 30 in a second here. There we go. Well earned 45 bill. Woo! Do I do I? Sick. So that's that. That's my shoe. Uh, as much as I would have loved to see a 13, 10, 10, just so that it looks good. This is. I'm not gonna complain about this. I just like seeing it like naturally. So like from a sander red or black cube. Um. If I do intend to upgrade or whatever, well, it's probably gonna have to be a black cube. And we all know where our black cubes are going to be going. We're gonna go to, uh, where, <laughs> wait, where is it? It's going to my shield and it's going to my arcane gloves. So, yeah, I guess live on stream, I am going to be equipping my arcane shoes. So thank you very much, Gar, for the service. Boom. We got the four set right here, thanks to the freaking Scarlet Shoulder finally paying off. This this was worth. All right, I caved. Stream, uh, stream. Con I'm convinced. I'm gonna buy more Violet Service. What a way to start season four by blowing up all my mess of meals. Please just get it on the first cube. That's all I want. Please, Dan. First cube, come on, first cube, 33 strength, let's go, 39. Okay, wow, that's a nice shoulder, it's a shame you won't be able to equip that then. It's also 27% strength as a tier 4 potential item, so, tainted. Oh! Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, that's it. Junk. Junk. <sighs> Every time you use a cube, that's 1.5 bill. Ugh. That hurts. Oh! Ah. Oh. Come on. Oh, 3 line HP. Wait, 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 wait. 3 line. Oh, dude, come on. What the hell, man? Three, you you rolled over fucking three line HP, dude. 
Dude, what the fuck? There was someone I could have traded. Ugh, whatever. Doesn't matter, just roll. I said wait too, come on. <laughs> oh well. If, if it happens again though. It did not happen again, for now. Dude, I could have traded that. Better owe me a 33 strength uh, shoulder right now. <laughs> Do it. Nope. 1.5 bill down the drain. Oh my god, it's just so junky. Nope. Close again. Yeah, very, very close. Two line HP. Nope. Uh, that's really annoying. Oh, the quality kind of. Oh, ah, oh, come on. When you do, if and when you get that three line strength, you better get put the prime line in first. Ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. If I could get the main pots done. <laughs> no, don't. You guys are gonna kill my LCD here. Nope. Oh man. <laughs> Just don't put the prime line. <laughs> Seven more. Let's go. Thirty-three percent strength. Put the prime line first. You put the strength line first. No, uh, no, no, no. You have to deselect all of them, and then put the all ten all. No, put the ten all stack first, because the ten all stacks the prime line. Mm. No, roll, roll. Keep going. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> not again! That's still not good enough. It's gotta be 30 or higher. Keep going. I've already seen 27 so many times with, uh... Oh, there's, uh, 30 decks? Wow. Okay. Keep going. Is that the last one, by the way? Oh, you still got one more. Go again. Yeah, I know. Go. Nothing? Okay. I actually would have been able to trade that. That that's really not cool. No, I'm gonna I'm still gonna pay for the whole thing. I have to pay you once I move Meso though, so I'll, I'll go meet you in FM or something. Yoink! Alright, 25 times 1.5 is 37.5. I don't have the extra 50 mil, so I'm just gonna be cheap and give uh, 37 bill. Oh well, at least this gives me some stuff to work on now. Maybe two swords is all I'll need. So I'll pay for all 25. A little bit under though because I don't have the extra 300 mil right now. <laughs> he's, he's still like sad about it. Dude, I don't care. <laughs> Great, now I made him sad. So uh, Dan feels bad, so he's making it up for me. But, uh, <laughs> he said he got a bunch of reds for my uh, shoulder. So, I mean, thanks Dan, but you really didn't owe me anything. Oh, Dan, you want to share screen so you, I could watch as well? Wait, did you just single cube it? <laughs> He's really queuing for himself. V 
so he didn't really have to do this, but it's nice. So thank you, Dan. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Roll it. Let's go. Keep going. 30 or higher. Well, one line off. It's all right. And, uh -huh. Okay. This is all stat. No junk lines. Oh, one off. We're in a double prime line, actually. Okay, well, I appreciate it very much. You really didn't owe me anything, Dan, but thank you anyways for the cubes. Dan says he apparently has some cubes for me. I certainly hope this isn't about the violets from the other day. Yes. But he said he has some black cubes for me. Nothing else. 26 strength and 8, maybe. Oh, he's using reward points, okay. Oh, wait, he started. Okay, well, thanks. Oh, he stopped. No, still going. Crit damage on second line twice in a row. That, that means nothing to me. Wait, hold on. That was more than five cubes. Was Wait, hold on. I think I lost count. Was that five cubes? Did you re-roll? <sighs> Two thoughts went into my head when I counted more than five re-rolls. One, he was lying about uh, the black cubes coming from the reward point shop, which I don't see why there was a reason. And two, it, by the time I realized that, it was already too late that he was using the reds as well. Oh well, uh, gonna have two line crit on my gloves no matter what anyways. It was just something that I could have done, like that would have been cool. It was like reds on the shoulder and blacks on the gloves, but Whatever. Alright, so just like in Season 2, we're starting the episode off with someone else uh, fucking up <laughs> something for me. It's okay, I I'm just teasing now at this point. Uh, but yeah, this has been a pretty bombastic episode, if I do say so myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know when the next episode is, or whatever it's gonna be, so hopefully you guys will stick around uh, for the next time. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to see more of my stuff, you can always check out uh, Messel Gears, which is the Maple Story Guide channel I started recently. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye bye. Season four. Oh, I'm getting too old for this shit.